If y'all played or watched Next Gen gameplay, y'all would know Say 7 Demis took over the game, bro. It was unfair. It was the best all around builds in the game, and you couldn't stop it. What if I told you to return to current gen? Y'all probably heard of the post player maker by now. This build is taking 2k21 by storm. They say, oh, it, the only flaw to it, it can't shoot consistent. This is my two way slashing playmaker. Yo. My two way slashing playmaker, 68 three pointer. I shoot almost as good as I do on 20. But this version of the post playmaker can shoot from anywhere in the court. It gets contact dunk, and it's a 6 7 power forward, so you can dribble over anybody. Make sure to like this video right now. Let's get straight to the video, y'all. The Demi God build has returned. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy CJ, aka No Limit CJ. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Listen, if this is your first time watching me, it's pretty much everywhere on your screen at this point, right? Am I right? Hit the subscribe button, y'all. We just closed in 6,000 subscribers, bro. I'm so grateful. I have a tribute video coming out and also an announcement. Hopefully, I can get that video out because I'm trying to double upload today. But this is the post playmaker build. This build, as you guys can see, is taking the community by storm. I'm gonna give you guys my version of the 6-7 demigod build of this year. I basically made this. You guys know, like, if you guys watch me, you guys know I've been going crazy with my two-way playmaker. But this build is literally a 6-7 version of it. It's the same thing, but a 6-7 version with context. It's just broken, bro. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make this. Make sure you hit that like button too. You feel me? Make that like button blue for me real quick. And let's get straight to the video, y'all. So this build is a power forward position. Um, you want to go whatever hand you want, whatever jersey number. But the key thing to this is the power forward position. Last year, if I'm not mistaken, this build was the yellow blue pie chart, like the Hall of Fame playmaking um, finishing. But this year, it's actually a play glass pie chart, which is Hall of Fame playmaking and defense. They were like, bro, they were saying two-way slashing plays were canceled. I showed y'all that I can use a two-way slashing play. Y'all about to see me on this Demi build, bro. I'm telling you, no one's stopping me, bro. I'm going to give you guys the best version, honestly, in my opinion. This build is better than any of the ones I've seen. I kind of gave my little spin to it. You still get the same amount of badges, if not more. So, you want to go with the um, first pie chart to go in with more speed. You want to be as fast as possible. The point of this build is to be like a guard at the big. It's just, I'm telling you, bro, you're going to be the most unguardable person in the court, bro. Now, I'm going to show you guys the exact attributes you want to use. I'm going to give you guys my version, but the other versions are out there. Pretty much everybody's making the same version, you know, the one with one shooting. But I'm going to show you guys one where you can finesse the system and get even more shooting with the same amount of badges, pretty much. So, for finishing, you basically want to upgrade your driving lit to a 71 rating. You want to max out your driving dunk, and you want to max out your standing dunk. Not close shot. You don't even need close shot this year. So, you just put the rest on standing dunk until you get six finishing. Until you get six finishing. The very minimum is what you want. So six finishing for this build is what you're gonna go with. The next thing we're gonna go into is shooting. So whether whether you have one shooting badge or even more, um, everybody upgrades their mid range and the three point shot so they can actually shoot um, as consistent as possible. You know, have the highest rating possible at green. Um, mid ranges and three pointers. I already showed you guys you can green with the low three pointer. Go tune into that video. That video is sitting at a good 10k. Yo, y'all are showing so much love to that video. But my version gets you more shooting. So I, for me, my two way playmaker shoots better when he has like gold range and gold hot zone and at least catch and shoot. So what I went with for this build, rather than one shooting, I upgraded my free throw max and I made my post fade about a 35 so I can get six shooting badges. Six shooting badges is really all I'm gonna need for this build so I can actually shoot consistent. For me, um, I haven't tried one shooting badge yet. I mean, I've tried it when I first made my two way, but like I'm, I'm better off with more shooting, right? You want this build to be as consistent as possible. So I would go, me personally, with six shooting badges. That's what I'm gonna need more because this build doesn't, this build, it has a, the offensive stats are there. The offensive stats are there, but the badges aren't. Just like my two-way playmaker, I only have 12 total offensive badges, but y'all see me go crazy in the twos, bruh. So, this is that's the shooting badges playmaking. Um, I went with exactly 13, the bare minimum of 13, so I can get um, floor general for my play shot. If you know, sometimes that boost, that boost can be the most important thing, especially when they run out of boost. If you have floor general, it's gonna get it right back. So 13, I feel like that's all I need. Now, last but not least, defense. Defense um upgraded as follows. This is my this is my personal preference. Um, you can max out your interior defense. Make sure your interior defense max because you're gonna be a six seven, so your interior defense is gonna be kind of low, lower than most you know paint beasts and all that. Um, perimeter defense, make it a 59. You're gonna see why in just a second. It's gonna go up way more, believe me, believe me. So 59, you wanna make your lateral quickness max. Reason being you upgraded lateral over perimeter is because you're, the point of this build is a hedge, right? You, I mean, for a big is the hedge, and you wanna be as fast as possible. You wanna be no slow poke on the hedge. You're gonna get a 90 speed off rip, you feel me? Then just spend the rest on um, your block offensive rebound and defensive rebounds. You're, you can max all three of those out, and you're gonna have seven points to spare, and that's where I put it on steel. So the, the spin off version of this 
this build. I get I made this a little spin-off. The other version has one shooting, um, 14 playmaking, and 21 defense. Sorry, 22 badges defensive. But this version is my play style personally. Make it however you really play. You feel me? I don't think I really need a high steal to get intercepts. And if I really am mad that I'm not getting steals, I get in my pain beats. You feel me? But this is the um six seven demi I was telling y'all about. Um, body shape, um, it's really up to you. Burly, burly, um, it looks weird on a guard, but you don't want to be in a burly guard. That's like a Nadex type of build, you feel me? So, I'm going with slight. I feel like, um, body shape doesn't matter as a point of, like, strength. Like, it's not going to help you get more strength or anything. So, compact or, like, slight looks better than me. So, height, you want to go 6'7". Look at the stats. Look at the stats. They get so much better than they were originally. Weight, you want to go with 190 reason being is because 180 you can go minimum weight if you really want to but you the 190 is the hot like the heaviest you can go without losing any speed and you gain more strength and it's um you lose a little bit of acceleration but it's worth it you want to go 190 your interior defense also goes up rather than like a 54 um wingspan is gonna go up, bro watch this watch this you want to max out your wingspan um some people um you know you can go minimum if you don't feel like waiting to 99 this build's gonna be best at 99 there's no point i don't think there's really a point in making this a minimum wingspan build because you can't speed boost off rip you won't be able to get contact dunks at all so i would honestly just go to 89 wingspan that's my preference honestly and when you get takeover boost dimer y'all see me shooting with a little three-pointer bro i'm telling you guys a 61 three is just fine you're gonna be able to green consistent you're gonna be able to hit your shots but i'm just saying rather than like you know this is gonna be the most fun build you can and once you guys get your shooting badges which i showed you guys the badges are the most crucial thing to shooting some people shoot consistent with one that's good for them but i feel like i need my six you know what i'm saying so takeover is really your preference um i'm going i'm personally going with slashing or any any take besides glass because i went with glass take for my paint beast and my um glass finisher that i i haven't even finished to be honest i haven't finished them because my paint beast has been going crazy recently but um i've already used glass take it's very good if you really want to use glass take go with it it's actually like i might be one of the best takeovers in this build but i want to have so much fun with this build this guild already gets hall of fame playmaking and hall of fame defense so i don't need any of these takeovers besides slashing because I get gold finishing and six finishing, but I will go with slashing take because it's gonna help you get so much more in the craziest contact dunks. But just make it to switch it up, bro. I haven't used slashing take this year, so I want to see what it's like. And y'all see pulse playmaker build. Some some other builds are like um playmaking four, um different build types. But pulse playmaker is the build that everybody's making. It's like the new um two way slashing playmaker from last year. But just know that I've been hit to this yellow red pie chart for about a month and a half now. I've been I've been using it. But I kept it on the low key until probably like this month. You feel me? Um, but. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal nobody's chain. You know what I'm saying? This is, I'm not the originator of this post playmaker build, bro. I'm just making it because a lot of people are and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you guys the best badges to put on for this version of the build right here. Also, if you have any better version of this build, comment down below if you think yours is better. But um, this is my version: six finishing, six shooting, thirteen playmaking, twenty-one defense. So um, the badges I would go with is gold contacts because your girl's gonna get contact dunks, and especially with slashing, slashing take, bro, you're gonna be going crazy. Um, gold contact finisher and the next badge you want to go with is showtime showtime i feel like is just gonna bro it's gonna help your teammates get so much takeover your bill's gonna get contact dunks it's just gonna be crazy or you can go with this version right here this version actually helps you get more contact dunks but you know i'm trying to help my teammates you know get their takeover so i will go with max showtime just so um everybody gets everybody eats you feel me everybody eats with this so you want to go with gold showtime um next things next is shooting so shooting um i will go with range extender gold you know what I'm saying? You want to be able to shoot from anywhere on the court. And also, even in the corner, you you guys know, but range, I don't know if you guys know, but range extender actually helps you shoot from the corner. So you want to have the highest you can. Some people are a little 50 with bronze range extender just because gold is better. You feel me? Um, next thing, I would go silver hot zone and bronze catch and shoot depending on if you have hot zones. If you don't have any hot spots, then you can go like, um, you can go something like this or even silver corner specialist and no hot zone. But if you do, you can even go gold hot zone. It's really up to you. Um, if your build is not really 50, if you're like consistent, cause I already know how to shoot with, I'm going to be shooting like crazy with this, but I'm letting y'all know right now. But, um, this is the badge setup I would use. Also, you guys can tune in for my jump shot video. I gave the best jump shot for like, you know, low three pointers. Um, next is playmaking. Um, honestly, this is the badge setup I'm going to go with. So I'm going with something like this. So go maybe floor general gold, hands for days and quick first step hall of fame. Um, if I'm feeling, you know, sometimes you got to ISO, you feel me? Um, and unpluckable, maybe silver or gold. I don't really know, bro. I don't really know. Unpluckable, no unpluckable is terrible. I'm letting y'all know right now. I got ripped like seven times, but we're not gonna talk about it though. But, um, 
I would go maybe something like this. It's really up to you. Go go switch it up how you really want to. But yeah, bro, just um, put the badges to your liking. Sadly, this build does not get ankle breaker, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I might end up going with play take because I haven't really maxed the build out yet. I might end up going with play takes watching this right now because this build doesn't get ankle breaker. You feel me? I don't really know how play take works with no ankle breaker, but you know, you know, you you want to get that like fun vibes to it. And now defensive badges. So I would go, you know, rebound chaser max, rim protector, gold or hall of fame. It's really up to you. I might end up going gold we're gonna see but um intimidator it's really your liking i i think there's no hall of fame intimidator is not that good this year feel me you can even go silver if you really want to but i will go um gold box hall of fame chase down to you know catch up to the guards with that you need to hedge um interceptor gold um what badge i probably i probably go intimidator silver and honestly bro Honestly, I would go Rim Protector Hall of Fame. Rim Protector Hall of Fame, um, you know, I'd rather I'd rather get more blocks than I would getting more Intimidator. You know what I'm saying? Intimidator, it is, doesn't even work like that this year. If it was like last year, then Hall of Fame Rim Protector, of course. And no Interceptor, or less than Interceptor. But um, I would go something like that. That's the bash that I'm going with for this build, y'all. I hope you guys do enjoy this build as much as I am, bro. It's going to give a 6-7 demi of build. It's not, I'm really not going to use it that much. I'm probably going to use it at the one score because, bro, it is so toxic out there, bro. It's the most toxic thing in the game it's always like pure lockdowns and all that but i hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button comment down below subscribe and share do what you gotta do we're on, we're on the 7k now really it's really crazy to say that i, I hope i hope i can get this tribute video out bro i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video y'all peace